what up everybody so I've seen a lot of guys that uh, have this shotgun correction this uh, firearm which is the Mossberg shockwave 590 shockwave I've seen a few guys so far that uh, have added this bad boy this is the uh, black aces tactical quad rail and uh there are some other items that i added from black aces tactical so i want to kind of cover <clears throat> what i did to this shotgun i've seen uh some videos that are uh, guys that have so-called pimped their shotguns so i i pretty uh much want to say that this is considered pimping your shotgun pretty damn good so, <clears throat> first thing I did was everybody complains that this grip just does not have enough texture. It does not have enough grip on the stock shockwave. So, Black Aces Tactical actually makes these um, stippled um, grips. So, it's the same Raptor grip as the, um, as the shockwave stock, but... Uh, they laser stipple them, and uh, they have different patterns. This is the snake skin one. Pretty cool. So it gives you just enough texture. It's got that cool snake with the joiner die up top. And uh, it solves that issue without having to put some ridiculous talon tape. Or, um, you know, there are guys putting hockey stick tape on there. Uh, which is not a bad look, but I don't know. I just... Didn't want it looking like the damn thing was kind of a, a band-aid slap job. So, anyways, big story, or the biggest change is this quad rail. So, this is the Black Aces Tactical Quad Rail. And this particular one came with a spike, which is kind of nice. Um, it was a limited time offer to get it uh, with the spike. And it came with the saddle. So... The shell saddle here on the side. Um, this is a new item. It's like 214 bucks altogether with the quad rail, the side saddle, and then the uh, spike. <clears throat> and um, you could see that I also removed the strap because that thing was just plain. You know, I, I've heard a lot of people say that the uh, the strap kind of like hurts your hand. Um, it's not really the well. They, they think it's the screws um that hurt your hand it's not the screws it's the strap the actual end of the nylon where it's kind of um um it's kind of like cut and seamed together um that thing is pretty rough and uh that's kind of the part that bothers your hand so uh i didn't like the gaping holes from the uh screw holes so i put the screws back in um you know it's uh not the greatest of uh of ways around it but uh it definitely is better than the damn strap i can tell you that much and it looks better too and <clears throat> i added this hand stop over here this actually came off my cz scorpion because uh i had a afg put on that one so kind of nice right it uh it flows with the front end of that uh, quad rail so that quad rail has an angle right there and it it, it goes perfectly with the angle that's on this hand stop so it's it's impossible so i mean as far as like racking back and forth as fast as you could possibly get it first of all you still have the picatinny rail that's on the, bo the bottom of this uh, quad rail that kind of stops your hand but then you have this now added there's no way you're going to get your hand uh in front of that barrel so that's kind of cool um also added the m4 light, the shorter one right here uh, i think it's called the wml um it's a 400 lumen light which is perfect and it's right there by by your thumb when you're uh when you're gripping this thing so perfect placement and finally i added this utg bull dot green laser so a uh, nice thing about this is because obviously uh you can't really shoulder you can't shoulder this thing right um you, you know you can't uh you can't really fire accurately from the hip either. So you need something. 
in order to be accurate with it. And uh, it came down to either a red dot, which again kind of uh, doesn't resolve the problem of not being able to shoulder this thing. Because if you put a red dot, you still have to bring it up to your face in order to get a line of sight. And you don't want that either because if you're firing some hot ammo, you can get this thing flying back in your face. So I figured the best and smartest um, thing to add was going to be this bull dot laser so i'm going to turn it on real quick and i'll show you guys so um the, you know the bull dot is nice because the farther your range um the bigger the dot gets um and even at a very close range like this is uh this wall is about eh, four feet from where i'm sitting and it's probably the size of a quarter right now on the wall so <clears throat> pretty big and here's the nice thing about this quad rail so um, you know, getting to zero this thing was actually pretty easy because if you look through the, the uh, top Picatinny rail, you could actually see your um, your bronze bead up, up front on the shotgun's uh, barrel. So you could actually pretty much align your laser pretty easily um, with this quad rail as opposed to putting on a standard pick rail because uh, the top of the receiver um, is is uh, it's already set up for a pick rail to be uh, screwed in. It's, uh, it's already screwed and tapped. But the problem with that is again, you're going to have to go through the whole pro process of uh, zeroing your uh, your laser or your red dot or whatever. And this was easy because again, you're able to see all the way down the barrel to the bead. I know you can't see it from the camera right now, but the beads all the way down there and uh it was really easy zeroing the the laser and obviously the, it's going to need some tweaking when we get get to the range um but for the most part i know it's on um and it will it will be as close to you know just kind of aiming down the sights as you can possibly get right now without getting some range time and getting it zeroed accurately but anywho <clears throat> This is the uh, the Marine Coat version as well. So it's kind of nice because uh, it's got that extra coating that's um, rust resistant, corrosive resistant. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks kind of cool too. And what else can I say about the damn thing? It's a badass little shotgun. Or, sorry, firearm. <clears throat> um, I think this is the way to go too. So, I mean... Anybody that owns this thing, I mean, if you want to get any practical use out of it, I don't know how you don't put a pick rail on the thing. I don't know how you don't use some sort of a optic on it and preferably a laser. And, um, you know, if it's just for fun, then obviously, yeah, you don't need any of this shit. But uh, if you want to get some practical use out of it, this is the way to go right here. So Black Ace is tactical. Good, good shit. Good quality stuff. Um, it definitely, uh, you know, makes this firearm uh, palatable as far as an actual useful item. So, um, good stuff. They've, they've addressed a lot of the complaints with these, um, namely the grips. So, again, they offer that. Um, the quad rail, the side saddle that only fits with this quad rail, by the way, and it's a really nice, um, it's a really nice fit. Everything is really well made. Uh, the UTG um, laser, I think it's it's like built for this thing. It's really low profile, as you can see. It's perfect. Like it's just the perfect optic for this thing. Um, nothing fancy, actually. His review on the shotgun is what what made me buy this particular laser so he had that um that same laser on there and he had a lot of uh glowing remarks about it so i figured uh if it's good enough for nothing fancy it's good enough for me um spike's kind of cool i don't know if it's gonna it, you know the flashlight's sticking out too so it's not really gonna do much more than uh, just look cool on the thing but the hand stop i think is very important especially if you don't want to deal with that strap um, you'll need some sort of a hand stop if you, you know, uh, I've seen some guys that have gotten the, uh, the mag pull, uh, forend over here that's modified specifically for the, uh, shockwave. I was looking on GGG, um, they have a, mo a pre-modified, 
uh, Magpul fore end, which is kind of nice because then you can put some sort of a hand stuff on the bottom of that. But I kind of liked the the uh, look and feel of the um, um, I forgot what the hell they call this grip the the corn cob style fore end, and then. I like that with the pairing of a hand stop because it is important to have some sort of a of a stop because yeah it is short enough and uh you know I'm sure that there's enough recoil where if you're really racking this thing back and forth you could have your hand slip off but with this in place that there, there's no way you're going to get your hand in front of that uh in front of that barrel so that's my setup I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh let me know what you think again Last call for uh, the items. This is uh, the hand stop came off of a uh, CZ Scorpion. Um, you can probably buy the the one that's meant for the Chris Vector. Same thing. It just goes on the pick rail. Um, Black Aces Tactical Quad Rail with the saddle. It comes with the spike for a limited time. So get your hands on that if you can. Uh, Enforce WML Lite. UTG green bull dot laser and uh, the black aces tactical uh, Raptor grip with the snakeskin print That's it everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day